Hi, my name is Ryan Deleuze and I programmed InnerTube for BioExplorer and I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to use it. So the first thing to do is to open BioExplorer and open the SomaticVision.bxd design which should be in your default BioExplorer designs directory or at C, Program Files, BioExplorer Designs. So I'm going to go ahead and open the SomaticVision.bxd design and uh, what we see here is we have um, three different frequencies. This is neurofeedback. So we have a low inhibit, reward, and high inhibit. And what we want to do is set these frequencies uh, to the frequencies we want to train. And then we can change the thresholding if we want. Um, this is defaulting to uh, auto percent success. This is 85% and so forth. Uh, you can set this to manual, uh, whatever you want. So basically, in this design, you're going to set your frequencies and then you're going to set your thresholds. From here, let's go ahead and play back some sample data and see what inner tube does, uh, how it responds. So I'm playing back a session. I made sure to not open. Um, when I opened this uh, sample data, I clicked no, do not open the session's design. Um, and now I'm playing back this data. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up inner tube. So at this point, inner tube will be responding to BioExplorer. Uh, here it goes, and basically what we can read here is that the speed and the exhaust size increased with reward. So in order for the ship to basically fly fast and reach the end of the tunnel in this allocated amount of time, we need to be above our reward. Um, if our inhibits are too high, though, the fog rolls in, um, the ship steers poorly, and uh, the music volume decreases. So that's the basics to using inner tube. You can also select what level you'd like to play. Um, there's uh, 20 different levels. Uh, they generally get of increasing difficulty. Um, in addition, if you have a joystick, you can hook it up and then start inner tube and you will see a joystick option appear. Otherwise, you can either choose autopilot or keyboard control. Uh, in addition, uh, these are the basic feedback settings. There are custom settings if you want to um, basically turn off the timer so that uh, they always make it to the end of the level, repeat the current level, or change how inner tube is responding to the BioExplorer uh, signal, you can actually do all of that directly, although we recommend that you stay with the current settings. So that's a basic introduction uh, to inner tube. Um, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me at info at somaticvision.com. Thanks.